Hello friends, welcome to History and Mythology. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the discovery of oldest papyrus ever found which explains the transportation of stones of Pyramid of Giza. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe our channel. So without losing time, let's start today's video. There are a lot of theories about the construction and the transportation of the stones used during the construction of the Giza Pyramid. How Giza Pyramid construction happened for that still there is no archaeological proof. But how and from where stones were transported for that a big breakthrough got by archaeologists in 2013 during the excavation of Wadi al Zarf, the oldest port in the world. During their excavation, they discovered a papyrus that contains a record of transporting limestones to the Giza. This papyrus became the oldest papyrus ever discovered. Wadi al Zarf is the present name of the oldest known artificial harbor in the world that developed about 4500 years ago, probably brought into the operation during the reign of King Snofru and particularly used by expedition under King Khufu. The site of Wadi al Zarf was occupied exclusively at the very beginning of the 4th dynasty in order to reach by boat to the Sinai Peninsula, the main mining area operated by the ancient Egyptians. An entire roll of papyrus a few feet long and is still relatively intact, written in hieroglyphic as well as heretic, the cursive script used by ancient Egyptian for everyday communication, providing insight into life during the 4th dynasty found at Wadi al Zarf. Those are the oldest papyri ever found in Egypt. Ten of the papyri are especially very well preserved, dated to the year after the 13th cattle count of Khufu's reign, which describes how the central administration sent food and supplies to Egyptian travelers. Out of those documents, the diary of Merer, a middle-ranking official with the title inspector, is thought to date to the 26th year of the reign of Pharaoh, Khufu, has a special interest. Using the diary, researchers reconstructed three months of the Merer life, providing new insight into the everyday lives of Merer and his co-workers. Over a period of several months, Merer made reports in form of a timetable with two columns per day. Many operations are related to the transportation of stones to and from Akhet Khufu, horizon of Khufu, and the work at the limestone quarries on the opposite bank of the Nile. The entries in the log books are arranged along the same line. At the top, there is a heading naming the month and the season. Under that, there is a horizontal line listing the days of the month. Under the entries for the days, there are always two vertical columns describing what happened on these days. For example, According to the mirror records, these blocks were delivered within four days at the pyramid construction site called the Akhet Khufu and were probably used for the external casing of the great pyramid made of fine limestone. About every 10 days, two or three round trips were done, sipping perhaps 30 blocks of 2-3 tons each, amounting to 200 blocks per month. Mirror's record also mentioned a regular passing by an important administrative center, Rose Khufu, which seems to have functioned as a logistical stop point one day before its arrival at the construction site on the Giza Plateau. It is specially specified that this site is under the authority of a high-ranking official Ankhaf, half-brother of Khufu, who was his vizier 
chief for all the works of the king. The diary highlights two major facts. It confirms that Ankhaf was effectively vizier and in charge of some of the final steps of the construction of the Great Pyramid at Giza. It verifies that the pyramid was clearly at the final stage of the construction project at the very end of Khufu's reign. Just after the discovery, the mirror's record was so caged in such a way as if they contained answers to all the mysteries of the Giza pyramid. It is clear from the mirror's record that the sip got stones from Tura, but it is not clear that they were sipped to Giza and not somewhere else. Probably the assumption is made due to the chronological events like the construction period of Giza's pyramid and the period of this record are the same. Another assumption might be due to the logistical holdic point which was just before the Giza.